Warning, the following video contains terrible handwriting. And Dylan. Oh, guys. Uh, sorry. I have a voice. Today we're going to do a review on, you know, uh, a book. It's called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. But, you know, we, we like dairy instead. So, anyways, you know, whatever. So the setting of the story is in, mostly in the Spokane Indian Reservation which is in the state of Washington. Uh, the two cities that Junior goes to for school is Wilpin, which is a, which is in the reservation where most of the residents suffer poverty, like uh, starvation and whatnot. Rear and the other place that uh, Junior goes to is more, has more, uh, I guess, white kids who, have, who are better off than most of the kids in the reservation. To be honest, I think that uh, uh, what's his name? Junior much rather goes to Reardon because of the opportunities that he gets and whatever. So the book obviously is written by somebody. And you know, the author is, by the way, Sherman Alexi, who is also a Native American. Sherman Alexi also lived in the Spokane Indian Reservation which may be why the book is so close and uh, related to Sherman's own childhood. Sherman and Alexi also been through all these events that Junior's been through because, you know, it's based on his own childhood. All right, so some of the main characters in The Absolutely True Diary of or whatever, um, <laughs> so one of them is Rowdy, which is Junior's best friend. It's kind of like a, a big, buff kind of bodyguard for Junior, who plays basketball and really enjoys it. But however, uh, Rowdy became, becomes his Junior's rival, you know, halfway through the story. And obviously the main, main, main character, Junior, is kind of, he suffered from a brain problem, basically just meaning that he had Lot, too much fluid in his brain head area and so he suffered a lot of physical ailments but that did not stop him from being really good at basketball or getting really great grades so you know, junior by the way so the book is considered a young adult or teenage novel I guess um, because it has many topics that are not suitable for children at a young age and there are also a lot of profanity and racism and finally guys we got to our final spot in the story review thing our opinions it's the best part guys so i dylan i think it's a pretty interesting book it has many parts that we will explain later which are interesting and um well i'm not particularly fond of this book because you know reasons reasons yes indeed so our reasoning be behind you know me liking it is because it's the story is pretty interesting with all of its different parts and whatever and it addresses so many social problems that we have today yeah and um well our reasons for us to not like it is because it's too short and there are too many events crammed into the story and making each event not descriptive enough. But we, we still recommend it. You know, to all the boys and girls and males and females and whatever you call yourself between the ages of 12 and 17. But you know, that's basically teenagers. It is a pretty mature book. Anyways, thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.